internet. Welcome to GED. Today we got some beautiful barbecue pork pockets and we're talking about how adulting is hard. So guys, check this out. Um, these are, I believe, Walmart brand. I'm not sure. I know I bought them at Walmart, but they might not exactly be Walmart brand. Uh, they're barbecue pork, basically like pizza rolls or hot pockets and a um, glass of milk to wash it all down because these things are actually kind of spicy. Uh, I can't give you the exact name of them, but uh, when you're in Walmart, go look for them. They're pretty freaking good, even though, you know, much, much salt and much, much spice. And they're super hot right now, so let me just say, first and foremost, that sometimes being an adult is harder than it seems. On top of, you know, work life, family life, personal life. You gotta keep track of everything. You gotta pay bills. You gotta just live life as a first world individual. And man, sometimes it is rough. I've kind of talked about it before about how certain things can wear you down, but man, whew, just let me know. Let me know your trials and tribulations as an adult because I've been trying my best recently and and uh, make and do, but sometimes you just don't feel like it's enough. It's just a general statement, I know, but... And if you're too young to be an adult, um, you'll find out the hard way pretty soon. Anyways, let's get a close-up on these. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pork. Let me bite into this. It is, again, pretty hot, so... The sauce they use for the barbecue is, uh, it very much reminds me of the Jack Daniels um, barbecue sauce. It's kind of got a little bit of a whiskey or bourbon flavor to it. They're not sweet, but they are like very spicy. Pork is also one of those meats that even if it's frozen, it reheats really, really well. It doesn't lose much of its consistency. Chicken and beef can kind of get off flavors when they're reheated, but I find pork seems to maintain pretty well. So back to being adult, I think one of the main reasons right now, at least for me, that being an adult is hard is that um, I have to take care of my child and my wife. They, they, now, not like that, but um, I think having a child and having a spouse that, that mainly watches that child, but ultimately you're the overseer of the family, you're the, the man in charge. It puts a lot of stress on the household figure because ultimately it's up to you to take care and make sure that everyone's happy, healthy, and just in a good position in life. And sometimes even though you try your hardest, no matter what you're doing, stuff just unravels at, at certain times. And it's how you deal with that unraveling as an adult that truly tests your mettle. <laughs> Uh, but the new year is coming. I mean, you know, 2018 is right around the bend in this video. Uh, and, you know, we're looking forward to good things. And again, I have a uh, 
glass of milk here to kind of help with the, the spice. These things aren't too big. I, I mean, I know they look big in the camera, but comparatively, I would say, well, let's say about about five of them would equal a hot pocket. Another part of adulting definitely is finding time to uh, balance your budget. Now it's not hard, it's not a majorly overly complicated thing, but making sure that your funds are located properly and you're not just squandering money at every opportunity is a real, real big deal. And obviously the more you make, the more chances for this money to be squandered there are. It's always a good idea to sit down, whether you're an individual or a couple, and balance out those checkbooks. Make sure everyone knows where the money's going, knows what you gotta take care of at the end of the day, and what you need to cut back or increase. That's adulting, right there. Ooh, these things do. Like the more you eat of them, the more that spice just creeps up on you. It's almost very akin to like a, a slow burning cayenne flavor. So I've had quite a few of these I think I'm going to save these four or give them to my wife because I don't want to overdo it on the salt, on the, the sugar, because there's a lot of sugar in the barbecue sauce, and of course bread, which is just empty carbs, because I'm trying to go on a diet, trying to eat healthy. These are definitely not healthy, but they are delicious, so I recommend them. Definitely go see if they're in your local Walmart, and uh, hopefully our next video will be Something with some green vegetables in it. Anyways, guys, remember to tell me how your adulting life is going on. If it's, you know, for the better or for the worse. Remember to game, eat, and discuss. And I'll catch you next time.